What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again on location in uh, Tudor Hill, if I'm not mistaken, here in uh, Manhattan. So it's like kind of away from the Midtown Manhattan section just between uh, Turtle Bay and Upper East Side. Now I'm here for a free cycle pickup. Now I got to admit, it's not just any regular free cycle pickup, ladies and gentlemen, not even an hour ago. I uh, responded to this one out on Craigslist for 200 DVD cases because, you know, could use them for extra game cases. Now, uh, long story short, she also included something else within the email and I really freaked out when she actually uh, said, you know, do you want these? Yeah. these items and I said yeah no problem so without further ado um, I don't really want to show too much of where I'm going because it's a few doors down so what I'll do is I'll just cut over to show you what I got and I honestly do have to say this is the best free cycle pickup so far that I've gotten so let's cut away and I'll be right back so I am back everybody and wow just hiking it up those three blocks I am that tired why that's why. Yep, it's a ton of DVD cases, and like I said, this wasn't re the reason, ma real reason why I ran. It's these two bags, and like I said, it's crammed full of uh, chock full of goodness. I'm not going to reveal exactly what because I'm in the middle of the street here. So let's just head back to the game room, and I'll show you what I got, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. So after a hour train ride, taking four count them four subway trains home I finally got this behemoth home and you saw in that video it was quite a big uh, load of stuff I had mainly you know it was DVD cases but those two bags you saw on the top you will see in a second I have to basically break down the story for you in a nutshell I got uh, saw one of the emails from FreeCycle and I uh, you know hit the lady back on my phone she replied back saying, yeah, I have all these DVD cases. I also have, hmm, and hmm, would you like them? And of course, I'm not going to say no. They were free. And I was really honestly shocked at what she had. And let me just show you here, ladies and gentlemen. Finally stepped into uh, another part of the generation of last generation consoles. And that is the Xbox 360. And yes, it does work. Uh, originally, when I did bring this home, uh, you know, the day before yesterday... Uh, it actually had the red ring of death. It honestly just needed some thermal paste. It was just dried up. Uh, we did. The, uh, a friend of mine helped me take care of that, and it runs brand new. Runs great, and I want to thank him for that. And yeah, um, uh, I believe from looking at the hard drive, uh, I believe it's the uh, 15 or 20 gig hard drive, whatever. Uh, it's about 13 and a half gigs free, so I might want to, of course, uh, upgrade the drive and get a bigger one. You know, just to uh, store stuff in it. I really haven't messed with this, to be quite honest with you. Like I said, the last generation of stuff I had was, you know, PS2 and an Xbox. Not the 360, nor a PS3, so on and so forth. But yeah, I am really glad to finally have this in my collection. Really, really grateful that she uh, gave that to me. And not only that, she threw in a ton. And I mean a ton of games. Uh, let me just pull some of these over here to the side. I forgot to take these out. Uh, well, from figuring, the hus this was the husband's uh, bounty. And I guess, you know, they probably got the Xbox One or a PS4 and they just didn't want this anymore. Uh, like I said, mainly these don't have the cases, but of course, not that hard to find them. And pretty easy to print these. So, uh, let me just show you really quick here. Uh, let's see, this is Red Card 2003. AMF Bowling 2000. Uh, I don't think you see that good. Top Spin Tennis. And these are all Xbox, but trust me, the 360 games that I got were really well worth it. Uh, uh, NCA March Madness 2004. And one of my favorites, Midway Arcade Treasures. That's the keeper right there. Uh, let's see, ESPN uh, Baseball. MVP 2003. MLB Slugfest 2003, NFL Fever 2004, Madden 2004, NCAA Football 2003, Knockout Kings 2002, 
And uh, let's see here. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Now, one little quick thing, and I'm not going to show it because I actually threw them out. Uh, the booklet that they came in, um, you know, I thought there were more games at the very end. When I pulled it out, there were four adult movies, and I just started laughing. Like, you know, one of, one of my neighbors who I spoke with about this said maybe that was the reason why uh, she threw out the Xbox. I highly doubt it, but it's pretty funny, though. So let me show you what else I got here. Let me just uh, grab this off here. Now, I'm thinking they also had a GameCube. I should have asked for it because uh, this is actually a core for the Nintendo. I don't know if this is actually for the Wii or for the GameCube. I don't know. Either or. Uh, but this is actually hooked up to the Xbox AV. Uh, Xbox 360 AV cord. So, not only did I get one, but two wireless controllers. Two of them. And these easily, you know, even now, these still go for $40, even used. $40 online, so that's pretty cool right there. And, let's see, of course it came with the, let's see, of course the manual, all the other stuff that comes with it. It would have been nice if, you know, she had the box. But hey, you can't argue with free. Uh, let's see here. Um, actually, I found a couple of more games here I just found. Uh, Lynx 2004 and Caballero's Dangerous Hunts. To be quite honest, people, a lot of this stuff is going to be up for trade, which I will do a future trade video, so please don't ask what I'm going to have available. Just be patient. So let me get all the crap out of the way first because I actually did save oy, 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 five of the uh, best games out of the lot here. Now, like I said, these are mainly sports games. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but they're mostly EA games, as you can see right there. Uh, NHL 07, NBA Live 07, Madden 07, Fight Night Round 3, um, Cabrera's African Safari, uh, Top Spin 2, Table Tennis, uh, so on and so forth. I mean, you can see it right there. And these are definitely going to be uh, on the trading block. I said, you get that one Xbox game, but these are the rest of the 360 games. So, let me get to the uh, the games I thought were definitely uh, ones I, I am keeping. So, let me show you here. First off, we have Gun and uh, Need for Speed Carbon. And one I've been seeing a lot of, and I'm dying to play this, Dead Rising 3. Uh, let's see, Burnout Revenge. Blitz the League featuring Lawrence Taylor. Call of Duty 3, which I, you know, of course I have that on the uh, PS2. And last but not least, people. And, of course, I have this on the PC. But it's very choppy at best. I am dying to play this game, people. Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, I'm probably going to get ragged on. Why don't you have Grand Theft Auto 5? In due time, I'll get it. I still want to play 4. I played, you know... Grand Theft Auto and the PlayStation all the way to Vice City Stories and Chinatown Wars. But I never fully played 4. So, you know, that's about it, people. So like I said, once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it definitely pays off. Like I said, people, if you want to know more about Free Cycle, please uh, feel free to check it out. I will leave all the links down at the bottom. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down at the bottom as well. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter and Daily Motion because once these uh, YouTube changes go into effect and if I'm going to get screwed, you're pretty much going to see most of my content, if not all my gameplay content, over on Daily Motion or, you know, whatever. And that's about it. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for watching and take care. Cheers.